Hello, I'm David from Laravel Deal team, and today we are going to talk about ways to dump data in your project. Let's look at the demo project. It has simple controller, which returns collection and some models in it. And uh, <coughs> those models are displayed in a simple list. So how do we actually can see what's inside that collection? For the most people who are a bit familiar with PHP, the first thing that comes in mind is var dump function, which displays information about variables. And let's check what output it gives. As we can see, the result is not very pleasant. It is hard to navigate through all of this and scan for important bits of data. But can we improve the readability? Here we added HTML tag to let browser know that this output is pre-formatted text. So browser won't ignore new lines and multiple empty spaces. Also exit command to stop execution for anything that is below this line. And let's see what the result is now. That's a lot better. But still it is not good enough because we have sufficient amount of not relevant data like variable types and everything separated by new lines. So let's try another command, which is print r. It prints all this data in human readable format. It is a lot better now and we can see attributes of each model, but for all of this, there's a shorter way to do that in Laravel. So instead of all these four lines, we can leave only one. And instead of print r function, we can use dump. Dump function output same data as previous functions, but with a slight touch by adding ability to fold and unfold data structures and highlighting entries with color. And if you want to stop execution after data dump, you don't need to append die or exit after dump function. Instead, you can use dd function, which means dump and die. One more thing we can add here in case we would like to see only fillable fields when dumping collections or models is to add to array method. And the result looks like this, nice and clean. If we have newer version of Laravel, it comes with Laravel Ignition package, which provides with ddd command. Name stands for dump, die, and debug. And here, in addition to your dumped data, you can see a lot more contextual information. For example, SQL queries executed when dumping your data, or let's say ability to share error message with other developers in your team and a lot more as you can see here and I will leave to explore it to yourself because good developer is a curious developer. Subscribe to the channel to support us posting daily videos and see you next time.